Hello vlog. Welcome to another week in my life. I feel very boobalicious, so let me just sip this up a little bit. I was woken up at six in the morning by a tremendous, horrific, catastrophic, world-changing storm. <laughs> the earth was shaking, my heart was rattling, the walls were bonking. Bonk, bonk, bonk. All I know is Thor was doing his job. He was fighting the fight. He was doing it all. It's just another gloomy day in Greenville. Nothing too crazy. But right now I'm about to go to Whole Foods because I want to get a snack and a meal. I honestly don't know where I'm going to get it from. I'm either, I'm 100% know what I'm getting. What am I talking about? <laughs> I just wanted to pick up the camera and just say hello. Before I go, I actually took off my nails. I have like a whole story behind them. I'll tell it later, but I'm going to Whole Foods now, so let's go. I just came back from Whole Foods, hence why I'm still wearing my sweater. As you saw, they had numerous pastries, including a section dedicated to vegan goods. They had like chocolate, I believe it was chocolate croissants, chocolate pain. Oui, oui, je parle français. I found these like last month, at the beginning of last month, aka May. In case you're curious as to which month it is. I found these at the beginning of May and I was really happy because I was tired of trying to make my own cookies and having them be flavorless. So I found these and I picked them up and I'm very excited to have them as a snack. Afterwards, I got some salad and go. I got the Cobb salad with chicken. I'm starving. I literally haven't eaten yet. And it's what, 12.44 in the afternoon. Should this be an ASMR? We have the salad dressing. There we go, a salad. Okay, but for real, I'm gonna eat this and then I will see you later. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> the saga continues. Right now, I'm about to do my nails. This is what they look like right now. I had acrylic nails on, but like they started lifting. Like, like my nails grew out to like that tall and I kept like messing with it. So it started lifting underneath the nail. And I was like, I don't feel like getting acetone or going to the salon to pay to get them taken off. So I literally got a needle and the places where there were air pockets, I would like shimmy the needle through and then poof, the nail came off. This nail just fell off, but the other nails I literally used a sewing, like, what is it called? Yarn? I used yarn. Is that what it's called? I used thread to like saw off the nail or an actual needle. I don't know if you can see, but there are like crevices of where the new and old acrylic was placed. My nails are surprisingly not that sensitive, but they're sensitive enough to where I definitely needed to put some protection on my nails. So immediately after taking off my nails, I put on nail polish. I'm going to redo them because they look a little bit funky and I want to have fresh nails. And that's because I am going to be filming like a beauty-esque video. I was thinking about making a beauty video like this, like an actual YouTube video or vertical so undecided but i'm gonna do i'm just going to take off my nails and then go from there my camera is about to die so i'm gonna make this quick or record as much as i possibly can i'm gonna put this on my shirt and i'm gonna see if it will make a difference and that can you hear me i'm just gonna use acetone to take off this nail polish nothing too crazy
I'm definitely going to give my nails a break from acrylic nails and just go to like dip powder or something. Yeah, I'm gonna like get dip powder off of Amazon and then start doing my own nails at home. And um, but I'm gonna wait like two weeks before getting the stuff so that my nails will have at least a chance of survival. Oh, I also like cut my own cuticles because yeah, even whenever I did get my nails done with acrylics, I would cut my own cuticles because I had too many experiences back then where the people out of the salon would cut my cuticles and then they'll make my cuticles bleed and they did all types of stuff to my nails so I was like, I'm tired of it. I can do my own nails. I can look after my skin better than you can. So I got it covered. I'm gonna cut my cuticles, make me bleed, and now you have to pay for it? No honey, that's not how it works. So I just started cutting my own cuticles before getting my nails done. you to say hi i was gonna show you my cat but he ran on top of the bed i just put on my the second coat and now i just need to put on the top coat but in the midst of me picking up this microphone i chipped this one already or like dug into it so i'm gonna have to fix that really quickly but he's watching tv right now oh my gosh look <laughs> yeah oh Oh, you want to say hi? Look, do you see yourself in the mirror? Or are you just curiosity about the camera? you just curiosity about the camera. I'm going to finish my nails and then I'm going to come back to you after I do my makeup. 15 years later, here is my makeup. I'm not using my mic because I just don't have time right now to just pick it up. Here's my makeup. Um, it's done. It's glossy. It's neutral. I didn't go for a winged eyeliner because I didn't want to. I didn't do eyeliner because I wanted to go for a more neutral look, kind of like a makeup but no makeup look. And then I just added a glossy lip. I like how it turned out, I really do. And now I'm about to take pictures, so I'm gonna show you my outfit. I'm just wearing the same crop top, these gray pants, and then I'm going to wear hokas. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's oh. Look how good my skin looks, like oily, but like... Shiny. Yeah. Dirty. If you're wondering why I'm wearing a hat, it's because I need to get a haircut. We just got done taking photos. It's like really, really humid. It's hot as